hi guys uh, this video is related to integration of 3g using DOW so first we need to do the format of the DOW uh, we use password RBS RBS for the new DOWs uh, here I can see that uh, with the VLS command I can see that uh, the usage is uh, like something some data is present in the DOW drives so we need to first format the DOWs the procedure is this that first we reload the command reload space dash dash and after that we format the drive format command is F O R M A T S D space backslash D and then we type yes and again reload space dash dash and again we will format the second drive which is C2 and uh, here we go as we see after this procedure of format the hard disk of the UW we need to set the IP configuration so that we can log in through local LAN connection the IP is 169.254.1.2 for our PC and .1.1 for the DUW just to see if the configuration is ok we run if config command to see the result now we will connect the to connect through FTP to DUW to transfer the basic package uh, we are going to connect but uh, sorry we have to put the LAN cable we have to remove the serial communication and insert the LAN cable see the LAN connection now at this time LAN connection is disconnected and now it is connected so oh, I suspect we have to change the IP also ok yes ok we are connected just to show you from the start we will type the IP of the DUW hit ok password is RBS uh, we will open the C drive first and uh, on this is our laptop side we need to open our basic package wherever it is uh, located uh, since we don't have R2G07 basic package so we are using uh, basic package from another site which is having similar software package the software package we are working with is R2GA07 so we need to move all the data within C drive to the DUW C drive like from one drive we have to move all the data to the DUW same drive uh, to save time we will make two parallel connections uh, with one connection we will try uh, we will shift the data of C drive and with the other connection we will shift the data of D drive see uh, we connected the, sec the second total commander software and open the D and copy all select all and shift to the left side left side is DUW right side is my computer so we have to wait for some time to uh, so that this process finishes I fast forward the uh, I will fast forward this uh, video so that it can complete fast and we can do the rest of the process also quickly it will save time uh, for us also still 3% remaining around 1 GB of data is being copied to DOW drives After this step, uh, 
we shifted all the data which is uh, already configured for site ZRY763 like HRY763 so what we will do we will use the CV backup file which NOC or backup has provided us we will use the data which is uh, contained in the CV file and uh, put it in the DUW and because since software is same only this uh, configuration data will be changed so uh, DUW will be restarted on our configuration file and uh, site will become whatever was the CV so see how we are going to do this we will find out the D drive and on right side we will find the location of the CV in our computer and on left side we will open the same place where this D drive is located uh, where this uh, CV is located see I go to D configuration and CV and found mtex CV and also I uh, connect in my laptop site uh, the D drive uh, the sorry the CV location and I will see that all like data is similar matching only some things are different these are site IDs and uh, configuration for IPs and cell IDs and sector labels like this stuff so I will copy all this data from configuration variant which is provided by NOC to this DUW and uh, click overwrite and all data will be moved to this DUW this data is the only thing which is making sites separate like one is ZRY763 and one is ZRY762 so once this process is completed uh, we will uh, reload the site once reload command is supposed to be uh, put in the serial communication in the COM4 um, COM4 port like uh, whatever it lo your laptop is COM1 port or COM2 port but for us for me it is COM4 so I will type the VLS command just to see that some data is there uh, I will put the reload command uh, there is one thing which I see now that uh, the the startable CV is a different one mm, we pasted the data in our mtag CV so we need to log in again and uh, set the CV uh, mtag CV as startable and then again restart the uh, DUW uh, as you can see on the screen that startable CV is au underscore cxp uh, we did not uh, copy data our data in this CV we, co our, we copied our data in another CV whose name is mtag underscore CV so we need to set startable or run the CV this mtag CV this is the only way we can uh, do it so uh, I will log in again and uh, sorry now because since password so now this is a working site so password is not RBS uh, here I find find all the CVs I will find the mtag CV and I will set CV this CV mtag CV as startable uh, once I once I set this CV I will just give the reload command and next time uh, mtag underscore CV will start and mtag CV has all the data for this site the site which we are integrating uh, this uh, this process is uh, a little bit dirty process because we are using data from another uh, nearby site uh, just we are matching that uh, like it is also working on RRUs or RUS uh, we can use this data from any other similar site uh, the the configuration variant variant or what is called CV contains all the information of the site like it can it contains the cell IDs CV uh, cell IDs IP addresses gateways O and M details and traffic IP addresses everything up to the EC port information is contained in this CV so when we restore the CV in any DUW this DUW becomes th this CV site whatever uh, this CV was we get this CV from our back office or from our uh, network operations center whatever is available on your side this process is uh, normally for uh, MS teams uh, to make the integration of uh, sites which are down uh, this process is not to be used for the sites which are new now being integrated like new integration this process is not for the new integration this process is only for the reintegration of existing sites which are down due to some reason and this process is also only it can be used if sites go down once it was up and backup was taken by OSS or any other servers the next thing now we can log in into the 
uh, into this ammo shell and we can see that uh, our site id is there uh, we will run the ild command just to to see that uh, there are license and lot of other alarms uh, since here uh, we have not connected any RUs, CBRI cameras are not connected, so it will not give uh, us any sales status. Yet, anyways, uh, just to see that now we have only alarms for the license. <coughs> Once we see the alarms. which is only gigabit uh, I don't know why the other cell maybe it will take some time see that all are used are disabled because we are not plugged any CPI cable so uh, we will do next thing we will uh, run the license command we will put the license uh, in in our FTP server which is uh, which we are using FTP D server uh, the same server which we also use for the baseband integration uh, how we will use uh, this uh, license files which are provided by NOC to us like back office provided some uh, license files two files are contained in this uh, in this license we will copy these files and move these files to our uh, this folder in which is supposed to be configured in FTPD I will show you how in the FTPD uh, we have uh, we will start the FTPD and uh, we will also uh, like uh, I will show you that uh, that these folders are configured uh, anyway we will first uh, do this uh, license up license uh, loading step first command is ACL space 7 and next next command is ACC space 7 space update license key file and it will ask me for the for the user id i will type I rbs because i put the rbs username and password for the ftp server i will use the ip address of my laptop since uh, this ftp server is running in my laptop and now i need to put this uh, and now i will put the name of the of this license key file which i put in my ftp d ftp server So, to just to say uh, avoid any spelling mistake, I will copy paste the name. That XML must be present. I will put enter, and uh, uh, just to see in the parallel that uh, there will be login into this FTP server. Uh, since uh, this license is loaded properly, the all alarms are related to the EC port disconnected and gigabit ethernet like uh, transmission cable is removed and no any uh, cpi cables are installed these are all the alarms which i am having so process of integration of uh, of 3g site uh, using dw is complete uh, this is procedure to be used for the reintegration of the sites uh, not for the fresh integrations this so it is to be used by the by the ms managed services team maintenance teams thank you very much for uh, viewing for watching thank you very much